So you might want to open it up in like incognito mode or in a different browser than your actual company file if you're using it for practice. But it's great also if you actually have QuickBooks online, but it's your business file and you want to practice with something. Well, then you don't want to practice in your actual company file. You want to use this file typically to do that. But remember, if you're logged into your business file, you won't be able to do that in the same browser oftentimes because Intuit will try to log into a different account to get into this test drive. So you can use an incognito window or a different browser. All right, so this is what we'll use in the first half of the course. Now, when you wanna purchase the software, after you do a test drive or after you take the course or, or whatever, and you're convinced that this is right for your business, then you might wanna look into the, obviously the best price that you can get. You might wanna ask your accountant or a QuickBook advisor to see if there are any uh, discounts available uh, and, and, and then purchase the software uh, in that fashion, uh, looking obviously for the best price on the purchase. In other words, what we're trying to do here is find places purely for practice, sandboxes that we can use for practice, either a sandbox that has nothing in it, which, which might be good with the student files of the 30 day trial, so we can practice setting up the software from scratch or sandboxes that already do have stuff in it, such as the test drive, so that we can practice navigating the software with stuff that's already in it. Let's do a quick look on how to find some of these things from a browser. So let's first I'll, I'll go to Intuit. So this is Intuit, it's intuit.com. This is the owner of QuickBooks page. So this is the first place I would typically go because QuickBooks has a lot of different web pages within it. So I always start from the source here, intuit.com, intuit.com. Then I'm gonna go to the QuickBooks software. Intuit owns different, different softwares, MailChimp, TurboTax, and so on. We'll go into the QuickBooks website. When you go into the QuickBooks website, this is the change, this is the page that they change most often. It's typically geared towards QuickBooks Online, but I usually go all the way to the bottom where they have this products area. The products area has been here for a long time. 